Okay, after the first coat of the clear polyurethane finish, your board will look a lot nicer. You can see it's reflective now, and um, what this clear coat is doing is it's one making it look nicer, and it's uh, protecting it from dirt, oils. As you touch things, your oil from your skin will soak into wood and discolor it, so you're protecting it from all that stuff. Now, it looks really nice, but if I feel it, it feels a little rough. Um, there's some bumps basically in the clear finish. So we're going to do a really light sanding and all it's the finest sandpaper, the 180, 220. And we're not trying to sand off the stain. We're not trying to sand down to any real layer. We're just going to go over this really lightly and smooth out any bumps that might be in the clear finish. So very light, very quick. And now I feel that. It feels nice and smooth now. So that's all it took was a couple seconds. Really light. Feels good. I'm going to wipe it with a damp paper cloth. This isn't soaking wet. I'm not getting my project wet. I'm about to put a second coat on and I don't want water on it. So it was just barely damp. Um. Okay, then we're going to take our brush, a dry clean brush, and our clear finish. And I'm going to just dip a little tiny bit, just the very tip on here again. And I'm going to brush it on and even it out. Just continue to apply a light, even coat. I don't really have to apply in uh, carving uh, anymore. I am not sanding or I didn't sand into the carved areas. I think they, um, well, I'll apply a little bit on the second coat, but just to be overprotective, I guess. Then I can soak up some of the areas that have a lot of clear coat and try to even those out and apply those to different areas. Uh, you can probably see if I zoom in that some of these uh, areas down there have um, a lot of white in there and that's the clear finish in there um, kind of making it white that doesn't really look that white oh there it is so I'm going to try to soak that out as best I can if my dr brush isn't soaked in clear finish I should be able to apply that finish to other places of the board and soak up the areas that have too much. So I'm going to start soaking and doing the ends and soaking and doing the edges. That's kind of the easy way to even out and get rid of the excess. Again, if you soak your brush, you can't do this. If your brush is soaked in clear finish, it's not going to soak up anymore because it's saturated. And you won't be able to even it out and you're going to make a complete mess. And that's what kids that don't watch my videos do.
Then again, if you look at it from a low angle, this camera's kind of at an angle. You can kind of see a shine, and then if you see any area that looks dull, this, I got my whole board. But if there was a dull area, when you look at a low from, at it from a low angle, then you want to get that area. Um, because it's, it is clear, sometimes it's really tough to see clear and visible stuff on a surface. But if you go look at it from an angle, you know, when the light hits it, the light will tell you where um, it's shiny, and if there's any area that's dull, that's an area you missed. Um, so, again, as always, we are going to put our brush into a bucket. Clean up. I put my brush in water. And then you don't just lay it on top of a whole bunch of other brushes. Make sure it gets in the water and actually gets clean. And then really important to return the caps so things don't dry out. And once this dries, you'll be ready to uh, add a hanger to the back of it if you want to add a hanger. And then take it home. This is like a three-day process. Stain, let it dry. Put the first coat of clear on, let it dry for 24 hours, lightly sand it, put a second clear coat on. This isn't a one day thing. So just take your time and you'll end up with a really nice product in the end.